where is it? Yeah, there it is. So let's talk about this. X-45, this is the big love rocket before it got changed because Blizzard employees are perverts. Um, drop chance, uh, Blizzard evaluating solutions to future holiday frustrations. So basically, uh, Blizzard made a post. These are people complaining that the big love rocket, if anybody doesn't know what this is, it is a mount that has a, you can see right here, 0.03% drop chance. So 0.03, what does that mean? That means you're probably not going to get it. That's what it means. We're not going to do the math. Uh, we're going to say, okay, all right, actually, you know what? I will do the math. The old mount in Strat, the, the Strathloam uh, Baron Rivendare's Death Charger in Classic WoW had a 0 0.02. So this is only one one hundredth higher, which is half again better, to be fair, um, than, the, than the Baron Rivendare mount from Vanilla WoW. So that's how rare this mount is. It's like three and ten thousand. There you go. Yeah. There, so yeah, you do ten thousand runs, and you are on average going to get three, which means that you can do ten thousand, and you can on average get zero. So basically, there's a lot of people that have been getting zero for a number of years, and they posted about this on the forums, and this is what Blizzard said. Yep, this is not fun. I've done the event a dozen times a day on my characters before in previous years and probably would be doing it again this year if I didn't have other real life stuff going on. Right now, if you want to maximize your chance at getting them out, it's in your best interest to repeat this event every day on as many characters as possible. That's mathematically correct, but not a good experience. We hear this frustration, and the good news is that we're discussing this issue amongst the team and evaluating possible solutions for holiday events in general. The bad news is that even if we do end up making changes, they won't be in time for this year. You know why this is good? I'm going to explain why this is good. It's because there is a, a, a player of the video game that works at the company and can empathize with players' problems. See, this is what we've been missing. Like, this is what we've been missing, is that there is somebody that works at Blizzard Entertainment. See, like, I didn't think this was true, but apparently it is. There's somebody who works at Blizzard Entertainment who actually plays World of Warcraft, and they had the experience of this, and so they realize how bad it is. Because what happens with a lot of these things is that these different developers, they, uh, it, it, it's like always the meme that like whenever Ian's guild got to a boss, it would get nerfed because it was bad. And before that, they wouldn't nerf it because nobody was doing those bosses and doing it seriously. And remember how many times, like, Yoshi P would say, Oh, wow, I played this part of the game, and it sucks dick. Like, it sucks dick that you can't do your ranged attack, and it fucks up your melee combo. Why, why does that exist? There's no reason for it to exist. There's no possible reason. So, and... You have to have developers that are actually playing with the game and interfacing with these systems because anybody who's done completionism content in WoW has known how much into the shitter it has gone in the last three, three expansions, progressively so, because of how badly Blizzard does not understand the way that people want to play the game and that nobody at Blizzard plays the game that way. If they do make a change, won't they devalue the rarity and the good feeling of owning mount? It would be easier to get. It would be a lot easier to get. So should they reduce the drop chance of the mount? Or sorry, should they increase the drop chance of the mount? Not reduce, excuse me. Should they should they reduce the uh or sorry, increase the drop chance of the mount? So I just want to go ahead and show you guys something right here, okay? So this was me getting the mount back in Warlords of Draenor. This was me getting it. This was a great time. This was a great day. Watch this. Visualize the mount in your bags. There it is. It's that easy. So listen. What I'm really trying to get at here is that I have this mount. I've had this mount ever since Warlords of Draenor. And you know, oh, actually, no, since Mists of Pandaria. Sorry, look. See, I've got a Mists of Pandaria and my gear is real. It's the beginning of Mists of Pandaria. I think they should increase the drop rate. I do. As an owner of the mount, it's just a smart idea for them to increase the drop rate. The thing is that whenever players feel like they have to make 15 different characters to farm an item, this is not a fun experience for the players. 
And as a developer, your responsibility to a certain degree is to design a game that does not reward that level of degenerate gameplay. It does not reward that type of unfun gameplay. And I feel like this is what really the focus is, is that did I have to grind my ass off? Did I do it on all my characters? I sure fucking did every single week. But why is it that whenever MMO players, whenever we're talking about making the game more enjoyable for maybe a newer player, people want to hold back and gatekeep cool little things that the game has because wait a second, oh man, I had to, I had to play it and it was bad for me, so it has to be bad for you. No, man. No. Just fucking make it, make it the same drop chance as everything else and, and make it fair. It's a boomer mentality. And, and that type of mentality there is what I think has prevented a lot of different types of things like that. They changed the insane title. Yeah, there's plenty of other mounts in the game that are extremely rare too, man. Time invested versus fun received. Exactly. And I feel like in order to, like this is like my philosophy, right? Is that the way to accomplish goals in a video game, the most efficient way to accomplish those goals should be fun. So if the way that you're accomplishing the goal is not fun, then that's a problem with the goal, and that's a problem with the game. Yeah, I had to do it, so you have to too. Exactly. As someone has nearly every achievement, there's just some achievements I know need nerfing. Yeah, like PvP pet battle wins. Exactly. Like, these are not, these are not fun achievements. These are not enjoyable, etc. It just sucks, man. I had fun running it daily on 65 characters. Yeah, Annie, Annie's a mouth collector. She's in chat. She ran it every day on 65 characters. The fuck? The fuck is that? Why? Why is this a thing? Yeah, and, and this is what people are going to do. And so, basically, it's almost like this. It's like you have to look at, like, a developer in a certain way is like a, uh... It, think of it like an empty room, okay? It's an empty room, there's nothing in the room. Except there's two things in the room. There's a fork, and there's an electrical outlet. And you, as the game developer, you need to make sure that fork isn't there. Because guess what? If you put that fork there, people are going to put it in the outlet. 100%. 100% they're going to do it. And I think that games should make it repeatable by the same character so it's farmable. Yeah, I think that would also be good. Yeah, have it repeatable by the same character seems good too. Now, what I think is kind of funny about this is that um, when does love and the when when does the uh, the event end in uh, in WoW? When does the event end? Uh, I just want to. I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not playing right now, so I'm not sure. Yeah, what day does it end? It ends on the 21st. Uh, yeah, it's like five days. I feel like. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds kind of stupid. They're like, oh, it's going to take us a year to figure out what we want to do with a holiday mount. You know what I mean? Like, can't you just increase the drop rate to 1% and then it's done in a hot fix? Like, I can't, I can't imagine this being a complicated thing to do, right? Yeah, just, just fucking move the decimal, right? I mean, how hard can this really be? But anyway, how to create rarity items and prestige then? You create rarity and prestige items through... Like, let me give you some... All right, all right. That's actually a good question. How do you create an item with good rarity and good prestige? I think that you do that by having a player overcome difficult content, challenging content, or doing something that is fun to farm. So, like, for example, uh, like, let me think of some... Think of some things that are fun to farm. Uh, like, things that are cool. Like, the Mage Tower. Yeah, Mage Towers. Uh, ultimate Mounts. But, like, something that is a... Uh, something that takes a long time and it's kind of monotonous, but it's somehow enjoying to enjoyable to do I'm trying to think like what the best example of that is the bumblebee mount Yeah, the bumblebee mount the bumblebee mount exactly. I think that's a great example the moco seeds in uh, Lost Ark Those are enjoyable to farm. They're really relaxing. They're totally chill the violet proto drake all of these kinds of things But I feel like you should never really have you should never aim to have a prestige reward That is a attendance reward these are just dog shit. Ah, uh, yeah, so, uh, basically, you have to do it 250 times. And after you do it 250 times, you get the mount. No, man. No, man. No. That's the worst idea I've ever fucking heard, man. Wouldn't be against drop rates if we were not locked out of the respective dungeon on our character? Yeah, I think that's a good point, too. Uh, how can you make anything rare then? Simple, make it hard to get. 
Yeah, make it hard to get, not boring to get. There, there are, these two things exist on opposite ends of the spectrum. The rocket is, yeah, it's not hard to get. It's just really unfun to farm. It's just super not fun. Why is that a good thing? Yeah, make it not tedious. That's the way I see it. Uh, more solo challenges? Yeah, I think those are great. Gladiator mounts, yeah. Uh, all that kind of all that kind of stuff. And did you get the turtle mount from Turtle Island? I don't think I have. I will soon, though. What if it's 0.1 instead of 0 0.03? Uh, that would be better. I think that they should make the drop chance higher. If it's one in a, one in a thousand is way different than three in ten thousand. Like, it's a huge, huge fucking world of difference. So, yeah, maybe increase the drop rate a little bit as, like, kind of a compromise between, you know, older players and newer players, retain some of the prestige. That's That seems fine to me. Uh, sure. But, like, all I'm saying is that the, the drop rate, to some degree, should be uh, increased. People defending tedious activities uh, in games knee, uh, are knees deep on delusion. Well, they also, uh, they per the reason why that's bad for a game is that, Jay, thanks off for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I is that it's, uh, it's prohibitive towards new players. Like, for example, in Final Fantasy, I see things like 3,000 hunts. And I think to myself, oh man, I, I don't know if I really want to do this because it's just going to take so much time. You know what I mean? So like having these massive, like, you know, like pinnacle achievements like this, I feel like people see them and it's so far into the future that they don't even want to take the first step towards it. And you want to make sure that you have goals that are, they're achievable. And if goals are achievable and you know that you have a path towards achieving that goal, even though it takes a long time, people will do it. But whenever it just seems so insurmountable, it seems so impossible to do, that you just quit as soon as you see it, then that's not helping anybody. That's what I'm really trying to get at, man. The Tomes of Final Fantasy, good example. There's a lot of uh, a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, it also sucks it locks you out doing other things. You have a lot of characters on since uh, since it's so uh, the instance finder feels punishing. Well, it just sucks. I mean, that's what it is. It just it just fucking sucks. Sk uh, skill based challenges should reward the best things. Of course they should. Always, absolutely, one hundred percent. Now let's go over. I just wanted to talk about this real quick. So just to uh, just to reiterate, I think that they should increase the drop rate. As somebody who's owned the mount for uh, almost the last ten years now, uh, the drop rate is ridiculous. I think it's like not fun for a lot of people to farm and in general developers should look at designing a game that does not reward players for doing something that is fundamentally unfun. It's very reassuring for me to see actual Blizzard developers being able to empathize with players because they participated in it themselves and that's probably going to show that a lot of the changes in the game in the future hopefully right I mean, we'll have to see this is kind of copium but like I hope will be influenced by the experience that developers have had with the content so they can empathize with the players rather than the players and the developers being two different groups of people. So yes, I think this is a good thing and that's where I'm at. Criticizing WoW and praising Lost Ark is a bit hypocritical whenever they suffer from the same issues. Oh my god. User reports. This is spam. Good report. Uh, very good report. So what is this here? Uh, this is specifically not directed to Asmund. I think he understands what different perspectives more often than not. Here, do you want me to explain? Uh, okay. So uh, we're gonna save this image. I, I just want I want to do something real quick, okay? And we're gonna go ahead uh, open uh, open this one, okay. Uh, just a second. The, I, I want to make sure that we, we completely understand what we're doing here, okay? Uh, I'll put this one down here. Alright. So, this is where we're at. I just want to make sure that everybody understands. Yes, this is a new NFT. This is where we are at with posts like this. Everybody knows... Everybody knows that Lost Ark... Is there anybody in here who thinks that Lost Ark doesn't have bullshit time-wasting systems in it? Because I'm sure as hell not one of them. I know it does. We all know. Everybody fucking knows that. It's obvious. And you know what? The fact is that this is like... I don't understand why this kind of stuff happens. I feel like there's a lot of people who are... These are WoW players who see uh, WoW being criticized for something that 
uh, you know, that other games have and the other games don't get criticized for it. Let me explain to you why why WoW is getting criticized and Lost Ark is not getting criticized. The main reason why WoW gets criticized and Lost Ark doesn't get criticized is that Lost Ark does not invalidate a lot of these systems every expansion. That's a huge reason. So, for example, your essences, remember your essences that you farmed out so much in Battle for Azeroth? Well, they don't matter anymore. All of your uh, corruptions that you farmed out so much, uh, oh, they don't matter anymore. Oh, what about that other system for visions? You got, like, your legendary cloak. It was all like, remember that legendary cloak? Like, there's, you'd, like, level it up, go into these visions, uh, Bobby Codex Maze, that kind of thing. Um, well, listen, that doesn't matter anymore. None of this stuff matters anymore because it gets invalidated. That's really what the problem is that people have with WoW. It's not that the systems are added. It's that every single person, whenever they saw the Chains of Domination, or sorry, uh, Shards of Domination system, you know what they thought? Here we go again. Here we go again. Because everybody knew that this system wasn't going to last for more than like a day or, or more than an ex, uh, a patch or two. That's it. So you know that you're investing all of this time and all of this effort into a system that would just be completely invalidated in six months or a year. So that's the big reason why more people are okay with the Lost Ark systems is because they are compounding, they don't cannibalize each other, and also they are persistent. That's another big reason. Here, let's talk about the other big elephant in the fucking room, actually. Uh, in this case, whale in the room. Lost Ark is free. You don't pay a monthly fee, you don't buy a game, and you don't pay for expansions. That That's it. Like, you can play the game for free. I have not spent a single dollar, actually, oh, I mean, somebody gave me the Platinum Pack, so that's not really fair for me to say. But let's say, uh, I don't know, I mean, I could have done everything that I did without the Platinum Pack. I didn't even, uh, like, uh, redeem anything, hardly, uh, besides that, that, little, uh, that little thing. But other than that, you can play the game and you can get, like in my opinion, I think if you like ARPGs, you can probably get something like, I don't know, maybe 40 hours of, of good gameplay out of the game? I really think that. I, I feel like I enjoyed Red Cerberus. No, 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 let's not talk. Guys, look, look, let's not talk about Cerberus today, all right? Uh, we're going to get on Lost Ark, and I swear to God, if the price for the Cerberus mount is over 20,000 gold, we are buying it today. We are buying it today because I am so worried that the price is going up every single day. I'm getting so stressed out, guys, because I'm going to lose all my fucking money. It's going to be awful. So we'll find out. Yeah, but if it's over 20, we? Oh, absolutely we. Like 100% we. Oh, 100% we. Like, you guys thought I was going to do this? No, no. We are going to put together... Are you sponsored by them? Uh, I'm not sponsored by Lost Ark at all. Uh, Amazon has not paid me a cent. Uh, like, that. that's it. I have not received any monetary compensation from Lost Ark. I just simply enjoy the game. And if that seems to be untrue to you, look at my Moco Seed count whenever I go back into the game. I like... Listen, I played BDO 16 hours a day. So if you think that like, oh, wow, you know, no, that you're wrong. Okay. You're fucking wrong. Amazon paid you technically. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Amazon did pay me. That's true. But they paid me through Twitch and not through Lost Ark. And so that's about, uh, that's about how I feel. It's just a really fucking great game. It's not only is a great game and I'm going to give human code here. I'm going to give, I'm going to throw him a bone. A lot of people's happiness with the game is honeymoon period is honeymoon period. After they get to end game, after they start farming items over and over, after they see other people advancing past them because they spent money, after these things happen, then you will see a lot of the glitter in their eyes begin to fade. You are absolutely right. However, this is what I've always said, is that playing an MMO on the first month of release is always fucking fun. It was fun in New World. It was fun in it's fun in Lost Ark. It was fun in Shadowlands. It's fun in so many of these games. I fucking love that shit. Anyone, uh, I think anyone caring that a whale gets ahead of them is kind of Papega. Oh, I d completely disagree. I think that a lot of people play video games because they want to advance past other people and they want to lord that over other people because they want to have the best stuff in the game. Right? That's that's what it's about. The fact is that like as I said, life, people. 
I, I want you guys to understand this. People forego basic necessities to invest in cosmetics. And I'm not just talking about NFTs. I'm talking about buying the, the latest and greatest new iPhone. I'm talking about buying a Supreme t-shirt. I'm talking about buying a uh, nice new MacBook. I'm talking about buying a expensive car. People in real life, these are all real life examples. Is the new, uh, is, is the iPhone 7 so much better than the iPhone 6? Well, it turns out that actually it is because Apple's been using planned obsolescence and they make the iPhone 6 stop working. So actually that's a bad example. Let's think of another one. Um, another car it is a, it, like if you're buying a car for $50,000 and you're buying a car for $150,000, is that car three times as good? No, it's not. And there are a lot of people out there. How many of you guys know someone who spends all of their fucking check on shoes? Or they spend all of their fucking check on something that they don't need and they don't have things that they do need. How many of you guys look in the mirror and they know that person, right? There's a lot of it. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, bread to consume. No, it's just, it is what it is. Some say it's an investment. Yeah, that's what some say. And so what I'm saying is that cosmetics and the pursuit of cosmetics is core to the human condition it's something that manifests itself in all facets of life and all facets of behavior because it's something that people like to have that's all there is to it people love cosmetics uh in every single way